What makes the Ozarks home? A Fountain of Peace on the Historic Fayetteville Square by Hank Minsky. The Ozarks where crazier than a pet raccoon can be a point of personal pride. It's a place where a goat, rooster, and cat come with a home purchase. I thought the Ozarks would not be my own home, not my family's home, until I met her rivers. The vistas, the people, and the burbling water and waterfalls, the nature, mountains, rivers, and forest, the feelings I get when I look upon her beautiful Ozark Mountains, the old soulful mountains, the hills of the Ozarks make me feel at home. These ancient hills and woods speak to me like no other place, this place I call home. Dirt roads, hay fields, creeks and rivers, 56 years of loving the beauty in these hills. The rich, wet, deep greens and browns of Boxley Valley are the womb of my most fully realized love. I'm gay. You're evil, she said. To prove her wrong, I abided. That burden shouldn't have been mine. But the Ozarks remind me to be wild and free like the waterfalls, but steady and calm like mountains. These hills helped raise me and shape me into the person I am today. My heart and soul belong here. The smell of a warm bonfire drifting through the hills on a cold, damp autumn evening. Listening to whippoorwills on the porch at sunset. A sense of serenity in the crisp, clear creeks and the tall, tranquil trees. The thick smell of woods that comes through the cracked window with a blast of humidity and sunlight. The sweet breeze rustling maples, oaks, red buds. The cicadas screeching through the honeysuckle. The song of the cicadas in the summer is a constant that makes Arkansas my forever home. The sound of cicadas on a hot summer night. There's a saw as of safety in their song. Peace, like floating down a river dangled in an inner tube. I have always loved to see the hilly landscape with wildflowers blooming in the hot summer sun. The sound of tires on a dusty dirt road lined with Queen Anne's lace. The trees, the way they look, move and smell, especially the sound they make as wind rolls through. Dogwoods dotting hillsides, lace decorating rounded memories of ancient mountains worn down by age. The pine trees, the crooked highways, and the stories of everyday life. Spring trout lilies, summer tree frogs, fall smoke houses, frozen winter spring water, the sound of raindrops, the smell of wet leaves on the forest floor lure me out the front door. Every billow and fold of every mountain is my security blanket, and I am content to nestle in. Time to meet, to love, to miss, small leaking light revealing blues and purples through the green, safety in hills of comfort. There is magic in these hills, magic that allows you to grow roots even as you fly. Green hills, wild woods, caves with stories to tell. I've traveled all over the world, and there is nowhere as beautiful that has the diversity of seasons. Four distinct seasons with vivid color. The changing of the seasons that renews my appreciation for our beautiful region. The reassurance of the seasons, the cycles each year, the warm return year after year of summer. The fact that I can find raw natural beauty within my city and all around it makes the Ozarks home natural beauty that inspires you to create, to move, to explore, to live. It's where I can look and see the stars in the night sky. The world has yet to devour our paradise. It's a beautiful bubble encapsulating breathtaking ancient landscapes and bustling modern society. People who climb hills to see a little better, better farther out to the world and deeper into themselves. My soul is buried in the soil of home, Ozark Mountain Country song. The Ozark Plateau carved by water, wind, and fire, held together by tradition, growth, and community. A river of love flowing through our neighborhood with green rocks, clear waters, and sweet hands. I have found my people in the perfect space, an amazing community in an amazing environment. 
family and friends, roots of three generations, the people and their friendliness, my parents being born here and raising me in this lovely place. It's home, love, Arkansas, family and friends. I enjoy living in a college town, the beauty of the seasons, the Buffalo River, opportunity, zeal, adventure, Razorbacks, kinfolk, Samaritans, and more make the Ozarks home for me. The Ozarks beauty makes it home for me. Beauty in the hills, dales, springs, mountains, it is home. It's the only home I've ever known and I can't imagine calling any other place home. It is home because I officially cannot go to the grocery store without seeing someone I know. The friendly people and Southern hospitality, also the catfish hole. It's where my parents raised me and where I raised my child. Our family time in the national forest has been magical. The little streams swerving through the glens, dad telling me about the trees, Lovey and Luther. It's home for me because there are people that I love here. I'm lucky. Once in summer, once in winter, and then one more time in autumn, I brought my boys into this home. It is where my children and husband walk. It's where I celebrate my and others' culture at the table. Serendipitous full circle, living within miles of my grandparents' early 1900s sod-roofed house. The Ozarks is where I fell in love, married and raised my daughter, a fifth generation to Springdale. I was invited to live and work here half my life ago and have built my home and family here. My family is from here. My family lives here. My family will live here. Bird songs, sycamore trees, wildflowers, and the spirits of my ancestors. The Ozarks were embedded in my DNA about 1810 when my ancestors migrated here, magnetized. My ancestors and each generation unknowingly keep rediscovering the place as home. Born and raised, several generations deep for better or worse, it's in our blood. The hills and hearts, a layer of sandstone grit on a cracked heel, blackberry seeds fitted against a gum line. The same soil which grows blackberries on unpaved roads, ferns in the valleys, cotton and myself, joy of its people, beauty of its nature, and passion of its community, family, friends, the fall tree color, cooler temperatures, the landscape. It's the feeling you get after a long trip and you see the lights of home. It's an everyday homecoming of the heart.